Hungry students bringing in their lunches to the cashier only to see their food tossed in the trash. Good evening, everyone. Angry parents came forward to us. They demanded answers, and we went straight to the school district. New at 6, we find out who's behind this. Parents couldn't believe what happened in the cafeteria at Cleveland Hill, and the superintendent served up an apology. News 4's Al Waters has been digging up details all day. He's live from Chickawaga tonight. Al? Well, Jackie and Don, a private food service cafeteria here at Cleve Hill and was one of their workers snatching lunch trays from students and throwing their food in the garbage that caused humiliation for the students and embarrassment for school officials. I was disappointed in the lapse in judgment. Cleveland Hill School Superintendent John McSwan was more than annoyed after hearing about middle school and high school students having their lunches taken from them and thrown in the garbage. A cafeteria worker who might have decided to double as a debt collector tossed about a dozen lunches for high school and middle school students who owed money on their meal accounts. Had a lapse in judgment and denied approximately 10 to 15 student lunches. Um, and those lunches were disposed of as the students were going through the lunch line. McSwan told us a private food service runs the cafeteria and when the students don't pay, the company doesn't get paid and the cafeteria worker is employed by the food service. Run the student's name through the account and the students that did show up with a negative account balance at that time, the lunches were disposed of in front of them. They just toss them. And to my understanding, that is exactly what happened. As a practice, McSwan says when a student comes up short on their account at lunchtime, they're given a bag lunch and parents are asked to bring the account up to date. But the superintendent says students are never denied lunch and that didn't happen this time. Once school staff confirmed the incident, McSwan says he sent out notices to parents. And I worked quickly with the food service director and the company to uh, correct the situation and sent out some communication to our community to assure them that this won't happen again. And Mr. McSwan assured us that every one of those students eventually did get fed, so no one went without lunch. Now, we've learned the contractor is Personal Touch Food Service of Buffalo, which has contracts with several school cafeterias across western New York. No comment tonight from Personal Touch. Reporting live from the Cleve Hill campus in Chitawaga, 